Where did I put on? Oh, in my ears. Hi guys. Um. It's Hannah. Uh, welcome back to my channel. Today, yeah, I wanted to give you guys a little study bra tips video. I'm always like out of breath when I start these videos. Like, <sighs> I studied abroad for one month this summer in Sorrento, Italy, which is like Southern Italy. It's really close to Amalfi. I will tell you guys like what I wish I had done before I went and like things that I did that I think like really helped me during my trip. First is shoes to bring. Bring shoes that you have walked around in a lot before and that are broken in because I thought, oh, I'll break these shoes in like on my trip. I'll be walking so much. I'll break them in. So stupid. You obviously want shoes that you've already broken in because your first couple of days you're going to be walking so much that your feet are probably going to get blisters no matter what shoes you wear. I want my Converse because when I went to Europe before, I wore my Converse everywhere and I feel like they were very comfortable and like I could pretty much wear them with any outfit even though they weren't like the cutest shoes in the world. Also like some of my Adidas are really comfortable just shoes like that because I brought these shoes and I went on a wine tour in Tuscany and I walked around in these shoes legitimately the first two minutes that we were there, like two minutes that we were walking to the bus tour, my feet were bleeding. Like, and I was holding all of my friends back because I was like, my feet are literally bleeding and I cannot go. Like I can't come because my I, I have to not wear shoes or something. So I ended up like just stepping on the heels of them the whole time. And I thought they were so cute. And I was like, oh, I'll bring them. They're so comfortable, but I had never worn them before. So I had really no idea if they were comfortable or not. And they weren't because they cost seven dollars don't bring shoes that are uncomfortable um, and don't bring that many pairs of shoes like i literally probably brought six pairs of shoes maybe and i'd say the only pairs of shoes that you actually need are some kind of chaco shoe we went to this like cliff diving thing so i could wear my chacos the whole time and I have to worry about getting cuts on my feet like a lot of people had cuts and that's just scary and then i brought good tennis shoes and then like one pair of nice shoes oh and maybe like a pair of sandals I know that I wouldn't follow these rules if I was like giving them to myself, but really, that's all you need. Second, before you go, I would make a list of places like you have to visit. A lot of people do their planning beforehand, but I thought while I was there, I would just get like the cheap Ryanair flights to wherever I wanted to go in Europe. Um, so while we were there, we kind of planned with all of our friends because it was me and my boyfriend went and then we met a bunch of people there and we traveled with them most of the time. So, and I kind of knew that was going to happen, so I wanted to wait and plan like big Airbnbs big airbnbs with them that actually worked out a few times and i wanted to figure out where everyone wanted to go i thought it would be more enriching to go somewhere with a bunch of my friends we ended up going to like florence together and then a bunch of us went to france together afterwards so it was really fun and i'm glad i planned it that way my third big thing that i wanted to talk about is budgeting for food so not really like i'm not going to give you guys like a, a certain amount of money you should have i think i had like maybe $1,400 when I went um, and I knew I was pretty much gonna spend like every penny of that but I had just bought a car before I went so that's all I could save up before I went there to Italy okay so for your food budget like this isn't really a budgeting tip but I would say like do not do not go out to eat every single meal when you first get there like you're gonna be there for a whole month so I know at first I was like, oh, I need to go out to eat. Like I'm in Italy. I'm never going to be in Italy again. I need to go out to eat in Italy. This is going to be so nice. All this Italian food and it's so expensive. I went out to eat like every single meal, every single day for maybe the first like two weeks before I decided I was running out of money and I had only been there for two weeks. And I think all total, I had six weeks there. Um, and every single person I know ran out of money when they studied abroad and nobody told me that also you should decide before you go who you want to get souvenirs for because i feel like souvenirs were a bigger expense than i kind of expected that's kind of my fourth tip with souvenirs my tip number five these are not in order why do i have like the hiccups right now like why do i have the hiccups Ugh. number five right when you get there ask what's like the cheapest way to get around what's the easiest way to get around and like get those schedules most of the time it's gonna be like a train or a bus or something like that if you're in sorrento i studied at the santana institute and they had like the bus schedules and the train schedules and all that stuff and those were definitely the cheapest like by far way to get around and ticket validation ticket validation is so important so when you buy the ticket that's not you buy the ticket you get on the train that's what I thought it was. I was like, oh, you buy the ticket, you go on the train. No, you either go through a machine where it like stamps your ticket, like kind of like a subway, like you just stick your ticket in and it sucks it up and you 
get a little stamp written on it if that's your date. Or like in big train stations, like there was a big one in Naples, you have to like find the ticket validation like kiosk? No station whatever some kind of station like it's a little red thing anyways ticket validation and you have to validate your ticket or else you get detained like one of my friends did maybe i'll tell that story later anyways i'm pretty sure that me and my friends maybe took a taxi like twice and that's when we were like extremely tired and like could not walk to the bus station like also if you're out of shape like it's time to get in shape before you go because i just started like really working out I'll drop my workout, just kidding, okay. Anyways, I would get her shape before you go because there's a lot of walking. Like my average while I was there was, this is my whole year. There's one month in there that is um, a lot higher. This is like my mileage for July. And you can see that the average is six miles. The sixth thing I would say, pack an extra small bag. Is, yeah, so this is good for like little weekend trips because you're going to be traveling a lot and you want something like kind of lightweight that you can carry, something with a zipper. It does seem like it can get pickpocketed easily. So seventh thing I would say that I'm so happy that I did while I was abroad is keep a journal. And I just did it in my phone notes, but I feel like this was such a good way to remember exactly what happened each day because each and every single day was like so crazy like we would do something different every single day and like i slept in my actual room maybe like four or five times it's just like every day is an adventure every day is an adventure but literally it is like every single day we were doing something crazy and i just loved every second of it but anyways keep a journal so that you can go back and look at like what good times you had and like all that stuff i feel like that is so important and i'm so glad that i did so eight i would say a lot of people talk about hostels before you go over there and the thing about hostels is they are such a cheap way to stay somewhere like there's airbnbs and hostels i didn't stay in a single hotel because hotels are extremely expensive and i thought that the airbnbs were just as good if not better because you get to experience where someone actually lives like an actual apartment like in venice or in florence and i thought that was more enriching anyways than staying in a hotel um but a hostel is also a very unique experience i would say do your research because me and my boyfriend into the situation where basically we were in Naples, which is really scary. I don't know if I didn't find the pretty part of Naples, but like we literally saw a dead person in Naples. So that's pretty much my experience in Naples. But one night our plane was getting back later than the last train was leaving. And so that we knew we were gonna have to find a place to stay in Naples because normally we would take the train from Naples back to Sorrento, but we knew that wouldn't be running at that time. So we got a hostel in Naples, um, but we were also walking with all of our luggage. We had to walk to our hostel because I honestly don't know why we didn't get a taxi. I was fuming the whole time. Like I was so angry because I didn't make the plans. But anyways, we walked to the hostel. It was like maybe a 30 or 45 minute walk. And it was through like back neighborhoods in a city that I have not frequented enough to know like the good part of town and the bad part of town. And I that was definitely like the bad part of town. And we had to walk there to get to our hostel. And then we get there and our hostel is like filthy and we're not even staying in the main part we got our own room so we're staying in like this other part of the hostel that's like a five minute walk away and the guy like wants us to get in his car he's like i'll drive you there and we're like no thank you we'll walk so he leads us there it's like midnight maybe i don't even know so he leads us to our hostel and we go up and it's a shared apartment type space it's kind of like a dorm there was no toilet paper no soap which is expected but like toilet paper like you'd expect them to have toilet paper it was disgusting i literally woke up with a rash on my face like a rash on my face i'll show you um anyway so research the hostel you're going to and research like ways to get there and make sure you know like when the trains come when your plane's landing all that stuff The ninth thing I want to say in this video is don't go to Naples. The last thing I want to talk about, and I have so much more to say about study abroad. So depending on like how this video does and if you guys want to see more or I have some like crazy stories, like one of my friends literally got detained. It's just a crazy story. I'll probably make a different video for that. 
But the last thing I want to talk about in this video is cell phone service. A lot of people before they go talk to their provider and then a lot of people get a new SIM card when they go abroad and they just use that SIM card while they're there. But look into that before you go and before you get there because me and my boyfriend both thought we were gonna get SIM cards when we were there and then we decided like we didn't really need cell service that often. And looking back, it would have been beneficial to have cell service more often but I'm kind of glad that I had to live in the moment and that I had to figure things out for myself and not just look at the maps on my phone. But you do need maps a lot and you do not have Wi-Fi everywhere. And that's kind of what we were banking on. But I survived without any cell service, like at all. So just think about cell service, consider what you want to do before you go abroad. I also might do a video on like what to pack and like a video on funny stories, but that is the video for today. I would love if you guys would like and subscribe.